Okay, to use an OpenOffice uh, template, you would go to OpenOffice.org and then click on I want to do more with my OpenOffice. You can see it talks about extending the functionality with templates and such. So you click here. You'll be taken to the extensions area of OpenOffice.org. From there, you can click on templates since we're looking for templates. Once on the templates page, uh, we can search here, um, or we could go to the most popular. You already see a resume template here, so right now we're looking for a resume type of template. Um, or we can use the tags, and the easiest way I found for me is just to use the tag. So I'll click on the resume tag. And uh, from there, you see a few different types of resumes um, and you might want to look through them or you can download quite a few of them and see how you know which one looks the best um, this table formats a nice clean uh, lookout so let's go ahead and uh, layout so let's go ahead and download this one to do it we're going to right click use it your menu might look a little bit different if you're not using Google Chrome but you should have the same general option what we're going to do is left click save link as To get your box that pops up here. Make sure you remember where you're going to save it at. You might want to pull down the menu or click in here so you can see the actual path to the folder. And then um, I'm going to download it here. It's open office template, resume templates, the names. We want to kind of remember what we named it or what the file is named. Click save. See that download in here and it's pretty much done in this one. And that's how uh, Google Chrome shows that it's being done. You, uh, you close that if you need to. Uh, from there, you can click on your start menu and go over to computer or my computer. This is Windows 7, so it might look a little bit different on yours. So you can click on computer. Uh, I think also in here, well, let's just do it that way. And then one of the shortcuts is downloads on mine. Otherwise, you would have to go through that same path that was on there, the C drive and such that was on there say if we did C drive and then um, I think it was in users when you click up here it turns it back that way it was in this one laptop and download you click up here you see that same path that was there when we downloaded it or if we went straight to our favorites or other shortcuts you should see downloads there as well sort it by date if you have a lot of stuff in here I'll just click the date button you might have to click it twice and I'm going to click here in the middle with an arrow to open it up to see and I see the one I just downloaded today so I know it did download in there and so uh, what I'm going to do is open up open office writer go to all programs openoffice.org I'm in version 3.2 the latest version uh, is 3.3 .3, uh, as of this recording so yours might look a little bit different the icons might look different but when you're looking for open office writer so you're going to click that once Open Office Writer opens up, um, you can go to File, Templates, Edit. You can click Edit. So you'll be able to see this one. You open that up. And here's that template that was in there, uh, that, that table style uh, template that was in here, the resume template with the table style. If you want to get a look at it, you click on the thumbnail, I think, and it's going right now. So I'm not sure if it's going to give me a much bigger picture. Maybe if I click on that one, I'll get a bigger picture. No, that's going to download it. But anyways, I guess the best way to see it right now is just to, to download it and, and try to use it. And so here you can go through and edit the, edit the resume template. Um, and then when you go to save it, so save as and you don't want to save it as a template this time you want to save it as either a document or a Microsoft Word document um, whatever is required for wherever you're submitting the resume to some websites want you to submit it as text but most websites these days will take a Word a document or even uh, a PDF and I'm not seeing PDF as one of the file types on here um, but if you do need to do it as a PDF they do have a PDF exporter thing, so you can click right here to export directly as a PDF.